Fresh Start fam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is April's Fresh Start Budgets. Today it is Savings Challenge Saturday where we will be playing some savings challenges in order to save money for our sinking funds. So let's count our money and see how much we have today. So I am going to use the calculator because I've got some sticky 50s. So we got 5150. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so we have our $320 that we will be playing with today for our savings challenges. Let's go ahead and get out our savings challenge binder. The cover of this beautiful binder came from Budget with Mama Bear. She gave this away in January for her birthday and I knew I just had to get it. So let's take a look and start with our 52 week money saving plan. This is a 52 week challenge. However, I do things a little bit differently. What I do is I put 52 popsicle sticks numbered like so in here. And then what we do is we shake it up and every week we draw one and then that's the number we put in there. Typically the way you do a 52 week challenge is you start week one with $1, week two with $2 and so on and so forth till you get to week 52. This way it keeps it a little bit more random, a little bit more fun. All right, so let's give it a shake and see which one we get. And we've got 19. All right, week 19. So let me cross week 19 off. Let me get the $19. Actually, let me see if I have a single in there. That way I can take that out and put in. Nope, I do not. All right, so we're doing 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Okay, so this one has a prop 500, 600, 50, 690, 710, 715, 720, 725, 726, 727, 728, and 729. All right, so then the, let me move this out of the way. The next one we'll be doing is actually my son's tuition. What I decided to do was I need about $3,000 a year for my son's tuition. So I have on my Etsy shop this $2,000 savings challenge and this $1,000 savings challenge. And I said, if I do them both simultaneously at about $65 a week, I should be able to finish before I need to pay my son's next tuition. I just started last week because the tuition payment isn't due until next April, but it's never too soon to start saving for a bill you know is coming. So let's put $65 in here today and we will be doing the 25 right here and the $40 right here for that total of 65. So we have 50, 55, 60, 65. And since we just started it last week with 65, I'm not going to count it today. I'll wait till we get a little bit further along. All right, this one is from Donna Powered by Creativity. This is her Let's Save a Dollar a Day in May. I am doing these every Saturday, so when I do them on Saturday, I'll have to put in a dollar for each of the days of the previous week for a total of $7. So there's five... six and seven and let's get out actually you know what I think if I have the three in here what if oh yeah four okay so let me do this let me do five in singles and then I'll put in just another five so we have eleven dollars and let me color in these flowers okay so that one is done so today is the 11th. That means tomorrow is the 12th. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. What do you guys have planned for Mother's Day? If you are a 
mother, a grandmother, an aunt, a dog mom, a plant mom, a feels like a mom from my family to yours. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Hug your mom, kiss your mom, love on your mom tomorrow. Just call her and say, Happy Mother's Day, mom. All right, so let's move on to Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka is how I save for my Christmas. Uh, we will be rolling one die and we will be, if I could find it. <laughs> I don't have the die that I wanted to use, but I'll use this one. Okay, so we'll roll one die. Each of these blocks represents $20. So we could be putting anywhere from $20 up to $120 in here. So let's roll this and see what we're going to do. Four. Okay, so we're going to put $80 in here. So we have 50 70 75 and 80 okay so let me go ahead i make cash condense and see if i could put both of those 50s in here but we'll see if we have it let's see i think i can do it let's double check here though so there's the 50s then this will be what's left so we've got um, yeah, let's do the two twenties and the two fives will come out and we'll put that in and then this will stay in there too. Okay. So let me color these in before I lose track of it. And then we will count and see how much we have. All right, so now for Christmas in the Willy Wonka Challenge, we have 500, 600, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 50, 60. So $960. That's awesome. To think that it's not even the end of May and we have almost $1,000. Actually, we do have $1,000 because our next challenge is also going towards Christmas. This is the 25 uh 20, 24 challenge from save with judy we will be doing another of the tulips for may and this is also going towards christmas so between those two challenges we definitely already have over a thousand dollars saved up for christmas that is amazing i am so excited about that let me find where the envelope is for this one i need to reorder everything in here um but we're going to add it five to that envelope. Okay. So then let's see. Now we're going to move on to the Wizard of Oz. I did calculate everything here and I want to do about $50 a week. That should get us completed by, I would say actually like mid-November if we can do it that way. So, but for the ones that are over 50, we'll just do 55 or whatever it is for this week. So 55 will be done this week, 40, 54 will be done next week, 53, and then once we get to 49, I'll do like 49 and 1, and then 48 and 2 in order to add it up to 50. But for right now, we'll just do 55. So uh, there's 40, 45, 50, 55, and let's see if I have any change in this one as well. Uh, no, no, I do not. Okay, so in Wizard of Oz, we have 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we have $1,145 in Wizard of Oz. This one is going towards my emergency fund. And I am so excited that we will be able to meet this goal, hopefully if everything stays on track by the end of this year. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to skip around here because I definitely wanna do my April showers, bring May flowers. This is for May. And since it is May, I definitely wanna get to this. We already finished our April challenge. Now we are on the back where the Bring May Flowers is. So let's go ahead and roll a die and see where we're going to go from there. Four, one, two, three, and four. We may do a couple of these. I definitely want to finish it by the end of May. Okay, $5. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four and five. I'm going to put these up here because like I said, we're going to keep going on this one for a little bit. 
three, one, two, three, 20. So we'll add a 20. Five, one, two, three, four, five. 10. Uh, let me go again. I don't know if I have 10 in the single, so five, one, two, three, four, five. I just know that I owe 10. Okay, and now I owe another five. So that's actually gonna be 40 for the day because five plus five plus 10 is another 20. So we're gonna take out these two 20s and put them in there and then I'll put those singles back. So that worked out perfectly. I do not have one of those little vacuum sucker things, but that's okay. All right, so we are putting $40 in our Brings May flower. So that takes our May total up to 20, 40, 45, 50 out of 200. Like I said, I would like to finish this up by the end of May. All right, so now we can move over to our group play. I would like to do the group play from Ellie over at Ellie on Earth. This is her patriotic group play. I received this from her recently and the rules for this one, it says, thank you so much for joining my group play on YouTube starting the first week of May. Scratch off one circle, stash that cash and comment on one of my videos, how much you save that day. I will do mine on Fridays in the game time videos and the challenges are between a total of 25 to $50. So last week we rolled a five. This week, let's see where we're gonna go. Five, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So that's right there. Ooh, an $8 one, okay. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Putting that in there. Um, I did wanna come up with an envelope for this one, but I have not done that yet. I did order the envelopes, let's see. I think I'm gonna have this one double up and it's gonna share it for right now with this one, just cause I wanna keep it a little bit more secure in there. But the money for the Save the Color to uh, Save with Judy is in this little pouch that came with the game. So I think that's a good spot for it until those envelopes come in the mail. All right, so then I would like to do the monetization tracker. And um, my, let's see, where did I go with that? Um, I am pre-filming these a little bit early to try to... Um, build up some videos for while I'm on vacation. So today I have a total of 740-ish subscribers. So let me do this. And that is one, two, three, four more dollars going in for the uh, subscriber count. Let's see, where is that? Let me see if I have any singles in there. I do not. Okay, so then let's see. Um, going to do the watch hours. So I will, I know, I have to note that I owe $4 on that one. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna pull this out and then I will, you know what, let me make some change. Let me see if I have some change. All right, so I took a 20 out and I'm bringing in a five and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I need one more. 15. Okay, so this is for the change. And then that way I can add the $4. One, two, three, and four for the subscriber count. And then let's see, I need to add... Um, two more of the watch hours because I am up to 800 and what was the last time I checked like 879 watch hours so this, again I'm pre-recording this it's only being done on today's Friday so this video is coming out tomorrow so it's fairly accurate it's not like weeks off but um yeah, so that is $5 each. So 
we're adding another ten dollars into this one and let's see five six seven eight nine ten okay so we're adding a total of fourteen dollars today to this one and then this youtube monetization in it has 51 20 40 whoop, money's out of order there Okay, 51, 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. That's awesome. So $159 in the YouTube monetization. Oh, no. We had another 50 stuck on the back. Okay, no, that was part of it. Yeah, that was part of it. All right, so $159 in the YouTube monetization. And actually, it was funny because... I know I did receive some very positive and encouraging messages from people saying, you know, it's okay to track your monetization and let us know. It's not, you know, that you're being all consuming with the monetization. And there are channels that I'm a fan of. And I honestly, the one channel, because they had a significant number of subscribers, assumed that they were monetized. And they said, you know, that they hadn't reached their watch hours yet for monetization. And as soon as they said that, I immediately... I'm a, such a fan of this channel. I jumped into action and I was running their playlists and I never would have known had they not said anything. So I think it's good it, for me to make anybody aware that is wanting to run playlists or, you know, support my channel where I'm at in the standings because yes, my subscriber count is way higher than my watch hours right now. So if you looked at my subscriber count and saw that I'm almost at 750 subscribers, then you may be assuming that I'm really close on the watch hours too, when that clearly is not the case. So I just think that it's good to make people aware. Um, we are a huge supportive community. So uh, the fact that I saw somebody that I was such a fan of, and I just had no idea that they still needed watch hours to get monetized um, was eye-opening to me that it's okay to, you know, let you guys know. So, all right, so let's do this one. This time, last time I showed you guys this, I got this from Walmart on clearance, a sticker wow from Melissa and Doug. And I thought it was so cute because it's these little, like, just worksheets. And it comes with this sticker up applicator thing. And to be honest with you, I just wanted to play with this toy. But it was on the clearance rack, and I thought it would be a cute way to incorporate a different way of doing savings challenges. So I wrote a dollar amount in each of these. And let's go ahead and do the 10 today. Boom. Oh, look at that cupcake. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's adorable. All right, so I am going to put in, take out these two fives and put in a 20. And this one is done for the today. Again, I got this at Walmart on clearance. And it's a sticker. Wow, this is Cupcake the Unicorn. And she has friends, Olive the Dragon, Pumpkin the Tiger, and Coco the Puppy. If you want to look and see if they have this on clearance at your Walmart too. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. I've got my Get Low Challenge from Jamie over at Jamie RN Budgets. Let's do head, go ahead and do one of these. Uh, let's roll the dice and see where to go. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Back up here. This is a three. One, two, and three. I think I have enough money where I can do this one again, although I really love it and I don't want to scratch it too fast. Another three. Okay, so I'm going to put these two back and grab a five. And then $6 going into the Get Low Challenge. So this one has a total of 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, and 33 in it. Isn't this puppy adorable? I love that puppy. It's so cute. My son's teacher actually has a puppy just like that this year. So... And she, that's her little baby. It's Molly. And she's obsessed that the class mascot for the year is Molly, the the uh, little wiener dog. All right. This one is too rich for my blood today. This one's had some high numbers. So let's go over to Ren from Mischief Managed Budgets or Mischief Budgets on Etsy. We will roll the dice and see where we are going for this one. 
four. One, two, three, and four. Seven. Okay. Five, six, and seven. And what do we have left? Four. Mm. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with it. That's going to be, I don't want to have an IOU, so we'll put this one back. And we'll add the seven to the envelope. So now this one has in it 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. 51 out of a possible 75. All right, so let me actually show you guys this one. I got this one from Save with Tess. And originally I said I wanted each one of these to be $5, but... Um, to be honest with you, I'm not making the progress that I wanted to on this one. And it says here, color each leaf, uh, $1 would mean a total of $50 saved. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to switch over to that just because I do want to complete this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete or not complete it. I'm going to switch it from $5 each leaf to $1 each leaf. So I will be coloring in, and I'm going to add these two to these four to it. So this is a total of 44. So I should have a total of 44 leaves colored, and there's 50 on here. So then we'll be six away. So let me go ahead and fast forward you guys through this while I color in the rest of the leaves. So we have okay. So that leaves us six leaves more to color in next time. This one is absolutely beautiful. So I didn't want to just not work on it. I definitely wanted to work on it, but I knew I couldn't keep it up at the $5 rate. So that's okay. As Lady Di says, this makes us a budget rebel. Actually, now it makes us a budget rule follower for what it is there. Technically, before I was a budget rebel. So I don't know, but um, it is what it is. So again, thank you guys so much. If you did not watch my 30 Thursday video where I announced the 500 subscriber giveaway, go ahead and check that out. I have not been contacted by everybody yet. However, I did want to let you guys know that the uh, chance to watch that video, find out if you're a winner and let me know that you are aware that you're a winner and claim your prize is still in effect until May 15th. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that has brought me so far in my channel. I greatly appreciate you. And to all the mothers, thank you and have a wonderful Mother's Day. Relax, relax and enjoy yourself. You deserve it. All right, guys, have a good night.